Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can mint your Galaxy Passport, which helps to prove your identity and could also help you get airdrops. Now, once you go to galaxy.com, if you go to the Galaxy ID section, you'll find this button here that says Passport. So go ahead and click that. It's gonna bring you to this page where you can mint your Galaxy Passport and also you can check out the FAQs if you're interested in learning a little bit more about what it is. But the TLDR of this is that it verifies that you're a unique human being and that your crypto wallet is not a bot or a Sybil attacker, and so this can help you get airdrops. And once it verifies your identity as a human being, then it mints a soulbound token or an NFT to your wallet that cannot be transferred, and having one of these in your wallet could potentially be a major plus for airdrop criteria. So once you're ready to mint it, go ahead and hit on that mint now button. It's gonna bring you to this page. And at this point, I should say that there is a small fee for this. So they're charging 0.03 BNB tokens. So you're gonna to need to have that in your crypto wallet on the Binance Smart Chain Network. So if I open up my MetaMask account here, you can see that I have enough BNB to pay for this. This is a network that you can get on MetaMask or Rainbow Wallet or Ravi or any of the other Web3 wallets. You need to have the BNB chain on your wallet and you need to have some funds in it. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I have many other videos showing you how you can bridge between different layer two networks on the Ethereum ecosystem. It's the same exact wallet address as you would use for anything else. It's just a different network. So if you don't have the BNB network and some BNB tokens in it, you have to go maybe watch one of those bridge tutorials, bridge some assets to the BNB chain, get those assets in your wallet and then come back to finish this. But once you do have 0.03 BNB in your wallet, you're good to go. You can hit on the privacy policy acceptance and click continue. And when you do that, you'll have to sign a message in your wallet confirming that you agree. Now the next step is to actually verify your identity. And you can do this by using some type of ID. I'm gonna skip through this process so I don't give all my personal details out there. But when you hit begin verifying, it's gonna pop up asking you to select which country you're from and what type of ID you're using. And then you can choose to upload a picture of either a driver's license, a national ID, or a passport. Once you upload a couple pictures of your ID, you'll be done with this portion of the verification stage. And finally, it's gonna ask you to actually take a selfie by looking at your screen, and this verifies that you have an ID and that you are who you say you are. But once you've done that, you've confirmed your identity and you've confirmed that you are a unique human being user and you'll be able to mint that Galaxy Passport. And the final step in this is to actually mint your soulbound NFT Galaxy Passport, which costs, like I said, 0.03 BNB. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit on the mint button. And this is the final thing we have to do here. It's gonna pop up in your wallet. And this costs about $7 to complete, but it's a one-time fee. You won't have to do it again. And you can use this for proof of humanity verification purposes. Like I said, that could be an airdrop bonus. And that is that. The transaction has been submitted and it was a success. I can open it up in the Blockchain Explorer if I want to. And yet here I can see that I minted my one of one soulbound NFT. And if I go back to Galaxy, this is what it looks like. And once you have this, especially if you're completing many of the quests that you'll find on Galaxy for airdrop campaigns, you may find that this is either a qualifier or a multiplier for airdrops. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you later.